Hello guys, today we are going to build a React Native application using Expo. React Native is used to build cross-platform apps. That is, we write single source code for both iOS as well as Android applications. So let's first do the necessary installations first. Okay, so we are going to use Expo. Also, you will first need you node node should be installed in your computers. I have already installed. So you can download node from here. Uh, you can find this doc in the below link. I just there is a link below, and you can find all these code and doc that have node on your system. It is used to run JavaScript basically. So React is on JavaScript. So once you have node installed, node comes with an npm package manager pre-installed. npm, npm package manager, node package manager. So so once you have node installed, you have to you have to install expo globally. So you can open command prompt and you, can, you have to write this command npm install global expo cli so I, so I have actually pre-installed so I am now quitting this but you you run it completely okay so once that is done so you have to write expo init to start any new project, you have to write expo in it and your project name. So we wanna write first project. Yeah, so you you have to you can select blank here. There are other options also, like you have, but we are gonna use blank. So it takes a little time. So it has created this first project folder for us. So let's go in this folder. And it has all these files ready for us. It has made all these files ready for us. Still installing. Yeah, so we will see uh, what are the files. So it is very similar to React if you have, if you know React. So there is a package.json file where whatever mentioned here, then our app starts with app.js. So here we will make changes and it will reflect to our app. Then you have assets and where there is images. So earlier uh, with React Native, if you wanted a splash image, so the it was very difficult. But now you can easily do with. You can go into app.json and and update your splash image here. And it supports iOS, Android, and web as well. But we are gonna you know, the code base is same, but we will test it on Android right now. And yeah, so to run this, to run this application, in the dividing folder you are in this, you have to go in, in that folder CD first project. Project is project. You have to do expo start and you can do expo start or you can do npm start
Yes, so it has it is running on this local host. On your devices, you have to install this app. Export. Yes, so on your phones, you have to download this application. And select run on Android device. Yes, so it's showing that showing the error because we don't have any emulator open, but you have this barcode. So once you have that app installed, you can scan this barcode and the app will be automatically installed and it will function okay so this was the installation part so let's see see you in the next video